Well, hello. Welcome to Daz's Random Stuff. This is what we're going to be building today, our sculpture, made up of about 300 steel rings. They're about 4 inches round or 100 millimetres diameter. The whole piece is about 1.2 metres in diameter. It's really easy. It's really effective. Let's do it. Welcome into the man cave. This is the jig that we'll be using. This is essentially 2.4 metres long. It is 50 by 50 or 2 inches by 2 inches. SHS or square hollow section, essentially square tube. And what I've done, I've cut, I've sliced it with the grinder in 50 mil increments all the way through on the inside and left this rear section solid. So I've just sliced all the way through there, 50 mil increments, 50 mil apart, 2 inches apart, all the way around the whole tube, 2.4 metres long, and just essentially just bent it, just squished it, squished it down and re-welded it all. So I've just re-welded it all the way around. So that is our jig. So the way we're going to start the sculpture is rings, of course. So your steel merchant will cut these for you. These are 100 mil or 4 inches round. They're about 4 millimetres thick. We've had them cut at 44 centimetres. So that's 40 mil or about an inch and a half in the, uh, the old scale. So you're going to whack two of them together just in the middle of your jig there. Doesn't matter at the moment. Should be fine, we've got a little inverter welder here, set it about 100, 100 amps. All you do, you just essentially weld them together. That's how you do it. So two of them welded together. So what you do then, is you're going to turn them around, 180 degrees. You're going to get another couple of rings. Just make sure you get any burrs off them. And you're going to set them up like that. So make sure that's right in the centre of your jig, the rings you've already welded. Then you put your others in. So you want when you're welding these, you want to get at least two points of contact for each weld. You don't just want one. Essentially, the first two, you have to have one only. But from then on, you want to at least have two. Sometimes you'll get three, but minimum two. So that's how you start it. Then essentially, you just build up from there. If you continue to weld on your jig, the pattern will disappear and you'll start to get bigger gaps, which is all part of the feature. And as you can see, as the rings get further apart, you're getting bigger gaps right through there, so they're all tight, just a little gap here, a little gap there, and you can see this one, quite a, quite a big gap coming there, starting to appear. So as you get bigger and bigger and bigger and the rings start to spread, you'll find you'll get a huge gap where you need to put two rings in to, to fill that void. You won't get one to sit there, the gap will get so big, you need to put two, and I'll show you what I mean shortly. Well, I've just realised that I'm in a bit of a confined area here, even though I have the big door open there. 
It's not really enough ventilation to be welding like this in here, so I'm off to Kmart to grab myself a fan that I threw out about a month ago. Thought I'd never need that, but I do. Back in a minute. Da -da -da -da. 20 bucks. How good is that? Might save me lungs. Look at that. Perfect. Ready to weld again. So like I said before, I'm using the conventional inverter welder, which is a fantastic little welder. So you're going to have to chip off your slag if you're using one of these, which is an arc welder. If you're using a MIG, no slag, no chipping. But I'll tell you what, if your welds are good, it won't take much chipping, they should just nearly fall off. Well, things are going well. So now we're starting to get some good sized gaps in through here. So what we're going to start doing now, instead of putting the rings just straight in like that, we're, we're just going to fill, like there's just no gaps, you know, we're going to get the three touching points there. What we're going to start doing now is putting two rings like that. So we've got our two points of contact still, but we're creating this really big gap in here. So we're going to start doing that all around. It's going to save a heap of, it's going to save a heap of rings, and we're going to really start expanding the, the whole sculpture pretty quickly. So you just want to tack them on. Make sure you follow your pattern still. There you have it. So we've created this really big gap in here now. We're going to do the same the other side and we'll do the same all the way around it. Just two rings together. Instead of sort of taking up three rings, we're only going to be using two and getting nice big random gaps. It's going to look great. So this is the effect that we're starting to want now. We're starting to achieve. See we've got some really decent gaps coming here now. And see, just by welding these two rings up here, instead of putting one in here, you're getting this nice, really big, weird sort of star shape in there. And it looks absolutely awesome. After about a day of welding, a full day of welding, we're at this stage, it's starting to look like a bit of a bird's nest. They've got some really good gaps happening through here now. Just random, just welding random. That's all you want to do is weld it just randomly. No real pattern to it. Have some really big holes in it, some smaller ones. It should look awesome. So, we're just going to continue welding, keep building this up. I've marked the centre and I've marked the front of the sculpture. So, we're going to build this back up here all the way around and just arc it over the top. Should be right. Well, we are done. There she is. She's, she's finished. We're just going to put the star picket in that it mounts on. And ready for powder coat. Of course it stands up on this end, so it's taken the bite out of the front of it. Looks like a bit of a moon or a bit of a Pac-Man. <laughs> That's her. Off to the powder coaters. There is our finished sculpture. Well, nearly finished. She's off to the powder coaters tomorrow morning. I cannot wait to see it. It's going to look magnificent. 
just about to forklift it off. Next time we see us, it'll be this wicked colour.